welcome back to my channel. I was just about to go and do my hair and like my make put makeup on, but I realized I have eight minutes to film this video before I have to go and pick Heidi up from daycare, so we're just gonna have to deal with this. So today's video is my 35 week update video, which is absolutely crazy. I cannot believe I'm 35 weeks and two days pregnant. It literally blows my mind. I know you're probably sick of me saying this, but I am sorry I haven't updated in a few weeks, but honestly, in between appointments and even appointments that are like non-appointments, I really don't feel like there's any reason to update because there's literally nothing to say. As you guys know from my last video, his nursery is done. We're like fully organized in regards to like his stuff. I don't know if we're like prepared for him, but we're prepared in regards to having his car seat and his bassinet and his cod and his nappies and his wipes and his clothes and his, all the bits and pieces that he needs. But are you ever ready for a new baby? I have no idea. So anyway, I had a scan two days ago now. Yeah. Yeah yeah two days ago now and essentially that scan was scheduled at my 20 week appointment because my placenta was low lying so from my understanding a low lying placenta means you can't deliver vaginally because the placenta is essentially like blocking where the baby needs to come out of your vagina but my placenta is only just low lying so you need to be like 20 mils away from the cervix and mine was like 18.5 so my OB had told me she wasn't concerned about it, but we just needed to check that it had moved. And thankfully it has moved all the way up pretty much to the top on my right hand side. So this side, um, and is at the back. That's good news. I also had to have a growth scan because my baby's big and he's measuring big and my OB just wanted to check all the measurements. So he's currently sitting in the 85th percentile. I think that's correct. So. He's big, but he's not huge. I don't think he'll be as big as his sister, but we'll just have to wait and see. The only annoying thing is that he is breech and he is fully breech. So he, when they did the internal to check my cervix and the placenta, they, you could see his feet pushing down on my cervix. So his feet are literally at the bottom. His head was literally at the top and he was in a full, full breech position which is super annoying because a week and a half before that at my obstetrician appointment he was completely head down ready to go Ugh, which i was really disheartened by but i did see my ob today and i saw her offsider because she was sick but he is not worried at all he said there's a lot of fluid in there there's so much room for him to move around he's clearly moving a lot because even since the scan two days ago he's now transverse. So he's moved from essentially like his bum here, his head here, he's moved to like that. So his head was still, sorry, his head was still higher and his bum is lower, but he's moved heaps. So he's just obviously moving lots. And until 37 weeks, they don't want me to worry about it. They want me to keep walking and doing a couple of things that I've been doing at home to sort of help him move. But essentially until 36, 37 weeks, they don't really want me doing anything too drastic. He's moving right now. His movements are crazy. Ah, He moves so much more than his sister. Like so much more. He is crazy. His movements are just like jab, jab. It's like roll. So I definitely know he's moving lots and lots, but that's cool. Hopefully he moves head down, which I guess in the end it really doesn't matter. I would love to deliver vaginally again purely just because it was such a great experience with Heidi and I don't know, I've just always thought about having my babies that way but at the end of the day, whatever's gonna get him out healthy and happy and safe and keep me help healthy, healthy, happy and safe um, is the right way to go about it. So as much as I wanna avoid a C-section, it'll be okay if it happens. <laughs> it to update on I feel fine I am feeling normal pretty much I'm blurry I have put on around 21 ish kilos but with Heidi I put on 24 kilos total and it fell off really quickly so I walked out of the hospital in my pre-pregnancy jeans I mean don't get me wrong I didn't look like my pre-pregnancy self but my clothes were all fitting and everything so the weight did drop off really quickly and I bounce 
bounce back quite quickly. So I'm hoping it happens again, but if it's not, then I'm just gonna have to work my little butt off to get back to where I feel comfortable in myself. But for now, I'm just enjoying it. I feel comfortable in my pre-pregnancy, my pre-pregnancy, in my pregnancy body at the moment. So I can't really complain. I guess I'll show you my belly. I've had lots of questions on stretch marks. I don't have any yet that I can see. I didn't get any with Heidi, so I'm hoping I don't get any, but still got a way to go. So who knows? <laughs> Who knows what will happen. I have cut my belly though. I was getting out of the car and because my belly button hangs out like this, like if this is my belly, like it's like eh, it hangs out, it scratched along the door as I was getting out. So it is cut, but what can you do? So I'll show you my belly and that will be okay. it. So here is from the front, the side, and the other side. So I'm not sure if you can see the cut. It's there. <laughs> so yeah, that's the belly. Oh, I'm so itchy. Anyway, I've got to go because i got to pick up Heidi from Kindy, but if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. I have an OB appointment next week, so I'll update then. See you guys. <laughs>